Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we are looking at this, The Mandalorian, The Child. Infamously also known as Baby Yoda, or if you watch The Mandalorian, this is Grogu. So, this is a budget Star Wars figure that I found at Walmart um, maybe like two weeks ago. It's just now that I'm getting around to actually like... Um, posting about this video so um, if you're familiar with these figures uh, this is a budget line of action figures that you can find at places like Walgreens and Walmart at Walmart most of the time you can find these um, at the checkout aisle they're often placed next to the other budget toys you might see like budget figures of like Super Mario Brothers or Barbie and it's kind of like near the, the bubble gum and the candy and like there was like third-party USB battery banks and like knockoff headphones and stuff so this is Grogu um, I was kind of surprised when I saw this because this was actually in um, this wasn't placed where I'd normally find these action figures this was actually placed in, in the normal Star Wars toys but it was kind of odd because this was the only figure there from this line that was hanging on the um, on the pegs and there was this this was the only one I saw and ever since I've, I bought this figure, I've never seen it at any of the Walmarts I've visited since. So I'm kind of curious about how hard this thing is to find and what the deal is with this figure. So anyways, let's take a look at this. Um, so what you have here is the box. This is maybe about like six and a half inches tall, I'm guessing. Uh, the window frames uh, Baby Yoda perfectly. And if you look carefully underneath, it looks like he comes with that little pram or carriage i think that's what this is right here on the front you have a nice portrait of baby yoda or grogu and on the side a brief description uh, a mysterious alien pursued by bounty hunters on behalf of imperial interests so that's all it is that's all they say about baby yoda um they don't Going and they don't go into any further detail about them on the back, just all the warning stuff, copyright information. All right, let's take this guy out and see if it's any good. So, it seems like I don't know, it seems like every other video I'm doing is a review on some sort of Mandalorian product, whether it's another baby Yoda or some Mandalorian action figure. Um, it can't be helped, the, the show is like mega popular, so you know, without question, they're always gonna be releasing tons of merchandise. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. Alright, so on the inside, it comes with this, I don't know, sheet of like, legalese. And here we have, uh, wow, this is a cool figure. I, I'm, now, to, honestly, I'm kind of surprised at how big this thing is. Um, it's much bigger than the Black Series child figure, and I'll take that out in a second. But I'm very impressed that it comes with the little carriage or pram, or whatever it's called. And it's this thing's big. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. Very impressed that it come that. All right, so if you're familiar with these lines of toys, these figures normally clock in around anywhere between like four to like six dollars, depending on where you buy them. Like maybe I think they might be like four ninety eight at Walmart, maybe like six ninety nine at Walgreens. Um. But I'm not sure of, of how readily available this guy is. Like I said, this was the only time I've ever seen him. So, so the pram comes in two pieces. There's the hood, and there's the actual carriage piece itself. And then we have baby Grogu right over here. And this is a big figure. So this line of action figures, they're smaller than Black Series. I would say they're about... So whereas Black Series is about 6 inches... You know, between six and six and a half inches. Uh, this budget line of Star Wars figures that come in these packages, they're shorter than that. And I would say they're about maybe anywhere between five to maybe five and a half inches tall. So this this um, Grogu figure is actually larger than it should be for that line of action figures. And I'll show you in a second why. Um, so what we have here is we have... Grogu, aka Baby Yoda, or the child, and his head, it's 
on it looks like on the inside his neck and his head are connected and it's a ball joint and the body's a socket you could kind of see that right inside if you look carefully inside of the collar you can see where the neck meets the body and it allows for some decent movement he could rotate his head he could look up and down it could kind of rotate a little his hands um, rotate also which is nice now th this is a very soft plastic and I'm happy to say it doesn't seem like there's any stuck joints here so that's nice the sculpting on the figure is pretty decent um, his face is a little bit softer sculpted there's some details you can make out you can't see it on the camera but there's some indications of like hair sculpted on it um, I like the fact that it's soft plastic because if you drop it's not like it's gonna crack or anything he has a nice expression on his face he looks cute he looks adorable there's a little bit of texture along the um, collar of his jumpsuit or whatever the hell this is or his robe and there's a very fine micro texture on his robe as well I can appreciate that look I'm gonna underneath uh, they at least sculpted out the details of the, the soles of his feet. They're not painted, though. His arms, unfortunately, don't move. He's kind of just stuck in this one pose, which isn't bad. I mean, you're paying, like, 5 to $6 for this, so that's all right. Now, I'm kind of stoked on this. This is cool. So it comes with his um, little pram here. It's two pieces. It looks like you just take the top, and then... So there's tabs here in here and there's um two slots one here and one here and it looks like you just insert it all right it made it okay it made a cracking noise i don't know if i should be worried or not um i don't know if the microphone caught that all right Yeah, this plastic doesn't seem fragile, so I don't know why it was making that weird cracking noise, unless um, parts were just stretching out or something. Yeah, I don't see any visible cracks, and this seems like a more durable plastic. It might have just been the plastic stretching out, I, I think. Alright, so this is cool. It comes with this pram, and uh, he fits perfectly in it, you see? There we go. We have Grogu in his little little stroller kind of deal. Little carriage. Unfortunately, this hood doesn't fold over like it does on the show, but this is cool that you get this. Now, um, I was mentioning earlier that this figure is kind of large for this scale of action figures. So, as I've stated earlier, this, this line of action figures, they normally stand at about 5.5 inches. So, this is the Mandalorian um, figure that comes in this line like like this uh, baby Yoda figure I've only seen this figure once at Walmart and uh, I've never seen it again so I don't know how readily available it is whenever I go to the checkout aisle I'm always checking to see if this figures in there but the only ones that I seem to find are um, Jedi Luke Darth Vader Han Solo C-3PO and a first order stormtrooper I've never found I've never actually found this figure um, in the checkout aisle with all the other ones just like this guy this one was placed with the normal Star Wars figures and I only found just the one so um, I've never caught these figures anywhere else except for the one time now I think now they look good together but I want to say I think this might be this a smidgen too large um, in terms of to be, if you want to consider it accurate to this guy I think he's maybe about if you know the actual scale of this guy to this He'd probably be about 75% of the size of this. But I don't mind because it looks cool, both of them together. And the fact that this guy comes with the little pram is awesome. Because the Black Series figures, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think... Um, or is there one? I, I take it back. I think the, the two-pack um, Mandalorian where you can remove his helmet that comes with the child, that does come with a pram, doesn't it? Uh, someone in the comments write down below because that's that's still a figure I haven't I haven't found yet um, I've seen it at, at toy shows, but I don't want to pay the 60 to 100 dollars that um, vendors are selling it for 
Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of stoked to get this because, you know, it's like I said, this is like a hovering around a $5 figure and you get this guy with this. That's awesome. My only regret with this is that I kind of wish that this had a stand because it, you know, it just plops straight to the table. You know, there's no like transparent flight stand or anything to make it look like it's hovering. But that's all right. I mean, it's just, I could, I could live with that. I'm sure I could probably cobble something together. So the scale of these two look pretty decent. Now here's the Black Series um, child figure. Now this is to scale with the 6 inch Black Series figures. And as you can see here, it's much smaller. Like this guy um, is closer to scale to what this figure is. But yeah, much, much smaller. So I'm, I mean, honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised with this. Um, I was surprised that this was in the stores. Action figures like these, the budget ones, you, you never see websites talking about them. So it's not like Hasbro makes announcements like on their fan reveal days where like, oh, you know, we're coming out with new budget figures. You know, this is something you just, you'll just find like, you know, at the store for yourself. You know, they never really, there's never really news about these kind of things. You know, they always cover like the vintage collection and the black series, but these budget figures, you know, it's kind of like the Wild West. You don't really know what's out there until, you know, you're checking the shelves for yourself. So if I had to rate this guy numerically, uh, for what you pay and for what it is, my first my first thought was a 10. Now, I know that might seem a little high, but, you know, taking consideration that this is like a sub $10 figure, you're paying anywhere between 5 to $7 for this guy, and he come with this nice, big, meaty Baby Yoda and even though his arms don't move it feels quality for being a budget figure it the sculpting's nice and this for me is the big selling point that it comes with the pram it looks awesome even if um you know if you want to display this with your black series mandalorians go ahead i think it fits on that shelf you just have to live with the fact that it doesn't look like it's floating you know i'm sure you could probably cobble together some sort of stand so you could like elevate it a little but yeah for me this is easily a nine or ten um you know, it seems a little high, but wow, this this really wowed me. And if you have this figure, it's a no-brainer. You kind of need both of them. They look excellent together. They really complement each other well. So yeah, this is um, the Mandalorian, the child. So if you're ever at Walgreens or Walmart or anywhere you know that sells these kind of budget figures, always keep an eye out for this. You might find this either at the checkout aisle or in my case, you might find this actually in the Star Wars section. But I highly recommend this. It's an awesome, awesome toy for the price. So wrapping this up, my name is Lou. Thank you so much for dropping by and checking out this video. I greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, feel free to check out all my other Star Wars videos where I look at, you know, everything from like some of the older figures to the Black Series and whatnot. So, have an excellent day, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Later.